Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The Florida mother who locked her adopted son in an 8 foot by 8 foot box for hours each day was seen tearing up after she learned she would not have to serve jail time. Tracy Fairrider, 48, will only have to serve probation and house arrest after she pleaded guilty on June 24 to one count each of first-degree aggravated child abuse, third-degree felony false imprisonment and third-degree child neglect, the Atlanta Black Star reports. She and her husband, Timothy, have claimed they locked their adopted teenage son in the box to discipline him for lying, stealing valuables, attacking relatives and threatening classmates. The couple said the boy, who was adopted by the Fairriders as a toddler from Vietnam, suffered from ADHD and reactive attachment disorder, which impairs a child's ability to form emotional bonds. We were living a life that's not what is portrayed in the media, Fairrider claimed in a press conference following the hearing, as she cried dry tears. There was a lot of things that nobody knew, she insisted. We were a completely loving family. I love my kids. We just tried to do the best that we could with what we had. Tracy and her husband were arrested in February 2022 after their son ran away and revealed his grim plight to police, telling them he would rather be locked up in prison than sent back to his devout Catholic parents. He told the cops he ran away because I feel like nobody loves me, and begged the officers to take him in because he would rather be in prison than back home, the affidavit adds. The boy would go on to describe how he was banned from the rest of his house, fed leftovers and forced to go to the toilet in a bucket. He also claimed he had been whipped, spanked with a belt, struck in the face and spat on by his parents who monitored him via a ring camera and only let him out for lessons and yard work. The victim stated the spankings would take place in his bedroom and he would be naked bent over his bed. The victim stated he could recall one spanking was so painful he fell off his bed in pain, the affidavit states. When investigators later seized the ring device they found thousands of videos showing the boy being bullied and locked up on a daily basis, according to filings. In one video in particular, the victim was locked in his room after being found to have stolen chocolate cookies from the kitchen despite being told he was not allowed to have them, an arrest affidavit states. This behavior resulted in the victim having the covers removed from his mattress, his mattress picked up and tossed against the wall and Timothy grabbing the victim against the arm yelling at him. At a preliminary hearing, the unidentified child also testified that the abusive behavior began around late December 2021, shortly after the family moved to southern Florida from Arizona. The abuse then continued for six weeks straight, investigators have said. It is unclear, however, if there had been any abuse prior. When police first started investigating the abuse allegations, the parents claimed the makeshift cage in the garage was a home office, despite it having no windows and no door handle on the inside, but with a deadbolt and the only light switch located on the outside. It was also fitted with a CCTV camera so the pair could monitor the youngster day and night as he slept, ate and spent up to 18 hours at a time inside the pokey drywall cube, only allowing him out to go to school, it's alleged. The parents later changed their story, saying the room was intended as a disciplinary measure to safeguard the other family members from harm. Their three other kids lived normally at the family's spacious $750,000 property while their sibling was fed scraps and forced to do yard work and write lines for petty offenses such as stealing cookies, according to court filings. The unidentified teenager described his living conditions as dehumanizing during Timothy's trial last year, the Palm Beach Post reports. Still, the boy pleaded with Circuit Judge Howard Coates for leniency after he was found guilty of aggravated child abuse, false imprisonment and child neglect. My father was a good person who just made a really serious mistake, the boy said. He was not a bad parent, but Coates sentenced the father on November 15 to five years in state prison, followed by five years probation. He was forbid.